Alright, what's going on YouTube? Man, it's been a long time, almost four months since I uploaded, well, okay, I don't know when this video is coming out, but current time, it's been about four months since I made a video. Man, I've just been going grinding school, moving, all types of stuff going on. If you guys don't know, I study computer science, so that major can take up so much time, but regardless, if I want to get the YouTube going, I gotta put the time into it, so... car passing by so my goal is to put out a lot more videos coming into the next semester as i'll have a lot more time and i just got in a new big swim bait so i was like okay I might as well show off the swim bait show off my uh new swim bait rod and what i'm throwing it on everything like that so today i'm gonna show some of the swim baits i'm throwing these days uh what i'm throwing it on and kind of like my mindset when i go out to throw these big baits first things first i'm gonna show you the swim bait setup i'm throwing so i have a make sure i don't smack too much stuff there we go. So first thing I have, that is a Calcutta Conquest 401. Uh, this is Shimano's like big bait reel. It is a um, 6 4 to 1 gear ratio. It holds, it's a 400 size spool, so it holds a whole lot of line. Um, I did a video on this kind of uh, talking about, you know, me fishing it, a little bit more of the specs and stuff. That's my last video, so if you guys want to check that out. Um, I like it. So, I like it so far. I could definitely use a smaller, a smaller one. So they have a 400, a 300, a 200, and a 100. I kind of want to try a 200 or a 300. Um, but I can palm this pretty good. Like I have pretty, I say average hands, but when I'm out there uh, slow rolling this baits in, I can really get a good grip on it and just like kind of slow roll. Uh, the baits in i usually do like a slow cadence and i'm able to really get a good like purchase on that oh my s waiver is going crazy so i can get a pretty good purchase on it like this with this longer rod it's actually pretty comfortable um but i never really end up using uh much of the line on here as i mostly fish ponds and stuff the only reason why i'm kind of reluctant to uh either get rid of this or uh you know sell it or something is because if i get into like the the much bigger swim baits like eight ounces seven ounces you know six whatever ten ounces i want something this big that way i can put on heavy line so i can secure like these huge baits that are flying through the air so yeah and then i just got this rod so this is a dobbins fury rod this is the 795 and i'll show you the uh specs on it real quick so that's gonna be hard to read upside down anyway this is a seven foot nine it's rated for 15 to 30 pound fishing line uh one to five ounce lures it's a medium heavy fast action um my last rod that i had that you can see in some of my other swim bait videos was a one to two ounce rod so i couldn't really throw big baits if i wanted to um anything over two ounces it kind of you could you could feel like the stress on the rod i, I didn't want to break it so another thing that's good was my last rod was an extra heavy so that that works with like the the bend of the rod right so if i would throw like a treble hook bait like this these small treble hooks they need some give in your setup to be able to stay planted um, if you throw an extra heavy rod sometimes if you uh hook into a fish with small treble hooks the the lack of bend in the rod will pull these hooks from the fish's mouth before it can get planted and kind of stay in so i'm kind of compare that to like a crankbait rod it's usually a lot more parabolic where it bends over you know more like midway or um further through the blank that way you can support the uh tension and thrashing of fish with small hooks like that so this thing bends pretty good um, i'll show you guys if i can get it in frame real quick let me chop off this bait so i can move the rod around kershaw knives not sponsored by them but they make some pretty good knives for the price and i'm always carrying one of those so Little knife tip. So as you can see, this rod, you can take it kind of in the middle and you can see where it starts to bend. There we go. See, it bends over kind of in the middle. So when I'm throwing these treble hook baits, they stay planted really good. So that's the setup. Liking it so far, digging it. That rod's around 130, so it's not like breaking the bank. That reel is very expensive though. The Calcutta is around $550. I'm a college student. I'm not expecting any of you like college goers or uh, 
anybody really to go out and buy a five hundred dollar rod. There's definitely other uh, uh, real. There's definitely other options like the Tranks. I think is around like two hundred something like that. You can get old or used Shimano's. Um, if you want a round reel, you can get like an old Cardiff or an older Calcutta. Usually people are buying or selling these like secondhand, and they last forever. So if you pick up one, as long as you're testing it out and everything, that's perfectly fine. Um, I actually got this reel sent to me by uh, a company. Didn't pay for it myself, so I'm not. I'm not like telling you guys my setup so you can go out and buy something super expensive. Uh, work with what you got, you know. I started off throwing this larger swim bait that's about a ounce and a half on a Abu Garcia Pro Max, which is what eighty bucks. So, hey, just get in where you fit in. But I will say, if you don't have a bulkier setup, you may snap some rods if you're trying to get out there and throw some of these larger baits on just your conventional gear. So do some research. So okay, let's open up. This new bait I got in the mail. Um, I actually won a um, a Instagram raffle for this bait, and I want to show it to you guys. First looks. I haven't opened the package yet, and let's see what we got. I'm already digging the packaging. It's pretty dope. Let's see. Oh. Hold on. Okay, guys, check it. Take a look. Put this in the sun so you can see the paint job. Check it out, man. Hopefully this comes through well on camera. This thing is awesome. Look at that. Oh man, Let's see. Look at that finish. I'm liking the pattern. That little like kind of is that a wait one two three four five six sides? Is that a what pentagon? No 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 no. What is a six sided he hexagon? Am I tripping? Anyway, it's, a, it's some type of shape. It's pretty dope. Look at that. Oh my god, that purple and pink? That is awesome. Hold on, let's see. So what's cool about this bait is that it is hand carved. So this is carved from wood and hand painted. There's no duplicate. So on that drop, all the paint, all the colors that they did were one of one. So if you want another one, they had to paint it again, you know, paint some new ones. Um, Really cool textures right there, like on the gill and everything. Eyes are dope. And it uh, has a nice clear coat on it too to protect that paint. That is that is awesome. And let's see the tail, that thing is really soft. Usually a lot of tails are hard. So for instance, on this S Waver uh, 168, awesome looking bait. This thing has a, a tail on it too, softer tail. Let that car go by. Um, but it's like a hard plastic. Cool to see that this is a, a much softer plastic right here uh, for the tail. Man, first impressions, this thing is awesome. So this bait is around three and a half ounces. I'm really digging it. That's a really cool color. It's the This is the largest swim bait I have now. Um, it says it's around three and a half ounces. Um, yeah, man, this thing is, is a beast thick too so this is it compared to a 168 s waiver i'm gonna uh, sit these down and show you so there's the 168 s waiver up top and there's the doobie swim bait you can sit them on top of each other you can see just the size comparison i believe the s waiver is around six and a half inches so this thing is it's pretty beastly man Okay, now I have a couple other swim baits here that I've been throwing around experimenting with. A couple soft baits uh, as well. So this one right here was my first swim bait that I got. It is a uh, pretty generic blank. You can find this on a bunch of different websites being sold as a clear bait. But um, this one was actually custom painted by a guy named Hog Baits on Instagram. And it's supposed to mimic a green sunfish. And this thing has been getting tore up. I've caught a couple, you know, different bass on this. And also a 30-pound catfish that's also on the channel. So if you guys are interested in that video, I'll link that in the description. Uh, it has this little, like, paintbrush tail. So it's it's pretty unique in that aspect. I haven't, I had never seen a bait like this before uh, I got this one. Um, but yeah, and it has the cool little sunfish blue um, accents right there. I thought that was really cool. First bait I got of this caliber <clears throat> that cost me about 20 bucks and I've caught fish on it and it matches the hatch of a lot of fish around here. So like that bait. Next one I got was this Guggen Contender. This is the larger version, the seven inch. 
and I've caught a couple of fish on this as well. Um, I find that a steady retrieve with both of these baits is what I get most bites on. Um, just slowly reeling it in, or even speeding it up along the bank. Um, most of the fish I caught on these were during the summertime, springtime. And uh, I have a couple videos showing definitely catches on this one. I need to make a video about catches on this one, but yeah, man, love these two baits. This is the first really big bait I got. Um, I say this is really big because when it comes to these two, um, this one's just a little bit thicker, you know? Like, if you look at the Google container compared to this, this is a, um, what is this called? The Molex Glide 178. It's pretty thick, man. This is the heaviest lure I'd had until I just got this guy. Um, <clears throat> and man, you can just see. That thing is, it's jumping that. Haven't caught a fish on the Molex yet, or the newest um, edition before this one, the S-Waver. Um, but man, these things swim really good. They have a really slow glide back and forth in the water. Um, and now that it's like winter time going into fall, throwing these kind of slow has been my tactic. But I have yet to capitalize on that, so the grind continues. When you're going out and you're throwing a bait like this, you know, you're really targeting some of the bigger fish in that body of water. And sometimes, man, they just don't want the swim bait. So um, I've spent many days, especially recently, getting out there, throwing baits like this, and man, not catching anything. But it's kind of a different mindset, you know? Ever since throwing these bigger baits, it's like, man, I've already internalized, okay, I may not catch a fish today. But man, when you're throwing something so big and you finally get a bite on one of these baits, it's just a different feeling. I, if you haven't thrown big swim baits yet, I definitely recommend it. Um, I feel like that's the best way to really understand exactly how it feels because you know you can go out and throw a jig or like a confidence bait, like a chatterbait for me. And if I catch a fish, I'm like, okay, well, I was expecting that. It's a chatterbait, right? But man, when you're out there throwing a big bait like this, it's like, are they really gonna bite it? You know, I wasn't really sure they were even gonna bite something this big until I finally caught a fish on it, right? So definitely try it out. Um, if you guys have any questions about swim bait fishing, I'll try my best to answer them. I'm not the most knowledgeable at it, getting into it myself, um, but I'll try my best. Thank you guys for watching. Um, keep catching them. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.